Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Stick Ranger. So, um, I said that I would like to do the next level when it was added, and uh, once uh, they add new items to it, and uh, that happened, so I guess we're going to be playing through it right now. However, I'd like to point out that I actually did record this beforehand, however, um, there was a very odd audio bug um, that happens sometimes in our record, and it happened during this whole video. Like, if it happens during like the first minute of it, I usually let it slide, but it was persistent through the whole thing. Here, listen. It's pretty bad, so as a result, I just scrapped that, and I'm going to be playing through the level again. Um, you didn't really miss much, like, I didn't go, oh, wow, look at this attack, that kind of thing. Like, the, this level is kind of interesting, but it's nothing really unique that I feel like like I absolutely need a first impression for, even though it is kind of unfortunate, because that was kind of the thing um, I, that is kind of the thing I was fishing for for this, uh, for this level, yeah, for this Let's Play, anyway, at the very least, later on. Uh, regardless, though, I'm actually starting this out right here. Now, when we have this live this level, Hell 6 is kind of interesting, actually. I, I, I like the idea of it a lot. Um, it reminds me a little bit of a bullet hell. Um, and I, I say that, like, even given mind, like, the triple exclamation point levels, uh, cause, cause how this level works is, uh, we have, um, we have a few enemies that, well, actually, we have a ton of enemies that shoot, like, ten projectiles each. Um, like, uh, for example, we have these germs right here, which shoot, like, a, like, a spread shot of, of, uh, orbs that can poison you. Um, these, uh, let's see, these, uh, these enemies right here, shoot in, uh, shoot in, like, a direction at two, which can actually completely fly over your head like it's doing here. Um, so if you have, um, if you only have, like, these yellow guys left, you can potentially just, like, sit in a corner and, wait, why are you on? Oh, because I had you on for the boss, yeah, um, so you can potentially have them all on in a corner, uh, or all, all on off in a corner, and they'll, and they'll just, like, shoot right over them. Um, now, okay, one thing I would also like to point out, now, you might be wondering that this weapon, this is not an ice meteor right here. Some of you might be wondering, what is going on with some of the weird things I give in my weapons? Because that is something that I have changed in the past episode. Um, I... Okay, this is also something I want to point out. Um, I have to redo this whole game over again. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I Let's Play games, um, I have every single video in one folder, and I thought it'd be kind of convenient to have the save, uh, to have the the the, uh, the TXT document I was using for the save file be in that same folder. And I'm also that kind of person who just deletes the whole folder once everything is up and running, like up on YouTube. Like, once every single part is up, I delete the folder. I did that without second thought with this game, and as a result, I lost my save and I had to play through the whole game over again. Um, however, I kind of took it as a learning opportunity because it gave me it gave me a little while for them to add uh, to add uh, to add um, to add some cards to the game because uh, it took me like a week to do so. Uh, the other thing it allowed me to do is it allowed me to get a little bit creative with uh, some of these weapons here um, and actually use some of some of the user input that you guys have been giving. I want to thank everyone for all the support you've given on this project so far, um, and I've actually went out of my way to try some of the things people. People have been asking me to do. Um, first things first, I not I, I don't remember who exactly did this, but someone actually um recommended that I'd give a vampire's card to the great sword. Now this is a really good weapon that I, a really good card that I usually only use for the um that I usually only use for the uh, for the flipping uh boxer because uh, of how fast he attacks but it actually works really well with this weapon as well what it does is as you can see here every single time i hit an enemy it has a it it, it, it is guaranteed to heal back five percent of the damage you deal to the enemy to yourself and this stacks if like four enemies are stacked on top of each other so it makes it very hard for enemies that um uh, for enemies that don't attack way too often to actually kill you uh, making it very ideal for stages like this actually in which you're kind of being sworn by enemies um, the second thing people, uh, someone has recommended is that the Ice Meteor is getting a little bit outdated, um, and I, I will admit, like, I had, I got that weapon, like, back in the desert, like, a, like, two or three worlds ago, and I've, I've just kind of kept it ever since, and for a good reason, it's my favorite weapon in the game, but, like, I will admit that it is getting a little bit outdated, so I actually decided to go out and, uh, try and get an Ice Orb, and I've got the same things I had with the Ice Meteor as well. This weapon is very interesting looking. I don't really like it though, um, so I might go back to the uh, to the ice meteor. However, due to the fact that I want to keep a little bit of variety, I'll use it for like one or two stages. Um, it's definitely interesting though. Like I, the, the things I don't really like about this weapon. Uh, by the way, it had to be an ice weapon. By the way, which mean, basically means it was either this or like go way back to the blizzard. But um, uh, even though that that probably I probably could get away with that too, honestly. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean that as in like, oh my, th this game, like this is one of those games in which if you can basically beat any level anytime you want, you just got to be patient enough. Uh, anyway, um, so like I was saying, uh, the the ice orb, like it's it's really really slow. Um, it has the exact same uh same time as the ice meteor, which isn't too bad. It might do more damage. However, its range is really bad as well. 
Um, it has like 60 range or something, which is really bad. I think this was actually nerfed at one point. I think it used to have just as much range as the as the normal ice meteor, but uh, they they fixed it because it was apparently like too broken or something. I'd imagine. Um, let's see. And uh, the ice orb, um, it's it's kind of weird. I don't really like. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like this weapon. I and after this uh, this stage, I'm pro or even like halfway through it, if it's frustrating or it's frustrating enough, I'm probably gonna re-equip the um. I'm probably gonna go ahead and re-equip the ice meteor because like okay, you, you guys know. Th we can probably all pull out examples like this, but every now and then, there's just a couple things in some games that, despite you getting them very early, are still, like, really good. Uh, I mean, I, I can't really think of one off the top of my head, but there are definitely examples out there, just like a, just like a weapon or, like, a way to fight that just, like, works for the whole game, and I kind of feel like the Ice Meteor is like that for me. Like, the, the weapon just, like, works early game, late game. It's really nice. It's, I, I use it for kind of the same reason I use the... Um, uh, the long silver stab in the sense that it doesn't really do too much damage overall, but what it does do, um, really makes it worth it. And what, what that is, is it makes, it, it basically lets, like, outrange anything and just, like, whittle things down, uh, while slowing them at the exact same time while it has that utility. This also has that utility, but it doesn't have the range, and it also has that weird fire rise thing where, um... Yeah, where it, where it, where it, uh, just, like, it, it seems to, like, in, unless an enemy is approaching you, like, in a situation like this, it seems to actively stop right before it hits an enemy, too, which is very annoying. Anyway, uh, let's see, we're actually taking out some more enemies here. You know, I'm gonna move on here, because the boss's this level actually isn't that tough. Uh, yeah, we gotta fight some more guys right here. Uh, the boss of this level is actually a mushroom. Yeah, the boss is another mushroom, and, uh, like of all mushrooms, um, it only attacks you when, uh, when you attack it. Um, let's see, yeah, I'm gonna have this guy, oh man, I'm gonna let you kill him first, uh, let's see, you should be able, actually, that enemy right there is immune to, uh, is immune to poison, wait, he's not? Oh, interesting, huh, apparently he just resisted or something, oh, that's interesting, I didn't know that enemy was that, could actually be poisoned, I thought enemies, uh, yeah, like, I, okay, in the last episode, I even, like, checked the book, too, like, I went all in, I thought that episode was gonna turn out perfectly, but, like, yeah. The, the, this enemy, it, it, it says that this enemy is immune to poison, but apparently that's not the case, uh, let's see, so, uh, what is, a, or at the very least, like, resist poison or something? Yeah, that's interesting. I never quite, um, I never quite put that into effect there. So, um, let's see. Now, like, uh, as you were seeing right there, what this boss does, uh, on the rare occasion when you do hit, I'm gonna take all these guys out first, just so I can kind of quarantine this mushroom. Um, what it does is, uh, he shoots, like, out, like, a million, like, it's a little bit like this, uh, like, this dragon's, uh, weapon right here, except, uh, except it, it fires out, like, like three times as many. Uh, don't hit that poison, please. Um, it hits out like three times as many, and they can all freeze you. So this end, this boss can actually freeze you as well, which is kind of why he looks like that too. I thought his hue was a little bit odd when I first saw him because I thought he was like frozen and I didn't have the ice meteor equipped or the um or the uh, the ice orb. Like honestly, ice orb also sounds like a really weird name for a weapon. Like honestly, the ice meteor. Like that's an awesome name for a weapon. Like you slam a meteor into your foe. And that meteor turns like nine things, and then those slam into the opponent as well. I like the ice meteor a lot. Can you tell? Anyway, let's uh, <laughs> let's take this full out right here. This is probably actually I was gonna say the germ is probably the, is uh, the hardest enemy um, here, but I actually think the dragon is. Oh, I actually also found out that those enemies are actually called germs. <clears throat> They're definitely interesting. I, I I forgot what I actually called them when I first saw them, but I, I I did not actually go on the wiki of that point, so I don't really exactly remember what I called that enemy. Um, I think it was something similar to that, though. Like I said, they looked like bacteria or something. Um, anyway, we'll take that full out, and then uh, with that out of the way, I say we um we go along silver staff just so I can show off what this boss does. Yeah, you hit him once. He shoots like he shoots like eight or so of these spikes at you. Um, and each individual of one of those can freeze you, which means um, and they do a significant amount of damage as well. Uh, which means they're going to be a little bit, uh, let's see. Yeah, which means they're, they're, they're gonna deal some significant damage to you, um, yeah, regardless of what you do. Um, I wanna say one last thing I also did in the episode is I went, um, I, I just went and revived the magician. Oh, not, not, not like that, not like that. Get him out of the way. Uh, the reason why is because, like, I, I just kinda want to speed things up a little bit, and this actually does significantly do that. So, uh, let's, uh, drag you over here. You're off, right? Uh-oh, no, you're not. Okay, up. This... <laughs> <laughs> Magician, behave yourself. Okay, I, let's turn you to. Uh, actually, you're good on on. Let's turn you off before you kill the priest. Um, you, you, in it, yeah, by complete accident. Anyway, let's um, let's start to do this. This this weapon is so good. Like, I, I'm still waiting for like a lava style upgrade to the ice meteor. Like, I, I'm kind of hoping that something like that can happen. Uh, although I will admit, I am kind of glad that I did try out the ice orb. Like, it's definitely interesting a weapon, but like the ice meteor just just works a lot better. Like, it's got the utility. It's got a lot of things I like about it. Uh, then I kind of like the feel, I've kind of made, like, kind of signature for that weapon as well. Like, that's my favorite weapon in the game right there. 
the ice meteor. It's really, really good, but the lightsaber being a close second. Uh-oh, um, let's see, let's get those out of the way. Maybe not the lightsaber, maybe, like, the poison staff or something, or the, uh, the poison, uh, the, the poison staff after all it's done for me in this run. Uh, let's see, are you on off? Yeah, okay, I think you're so low on health that you're probably not gonna walk towards an enemy anyway, but you were close enough. Yeah, I'm gonna toss this guy over here and take a drink of water real quick. Give me a second. All right, there we go. Ugh. So yeah, one thing you're gonna notice is um, well, one one thing I've noticed in this over the course of this playthrough is that one thing this playthrough has gotten me to do, it's gotten me to appreciate the 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 priest a lot more. Because beforehand, it was like one of those it was it was one of those classes in which like I, it was one of my favorite classes in the game already, but I always tried to hold on to it. Just for the sake of like, oh, it's a good, it's a, it's a good bonus to have like a, to have like the kind of stats you can give your team. However, the, the fact that I can, that I discovered this strategy like halfway through, like I, I still, I, I still, I still remember when I first found that out. Like that is a fantastic, I don't want to say exploit, but maybe like a trick you can use to just, uh, to just make uh, mushrooms and cactuses a lot easier than they'd normally be. Like this strikes me as something that would be kind of intentional, but like the developers go out of their way to make sure no one ever. No one ever like explicitly uh, finds out, or at the very least uh, can, uh, yeah, or, or like okay, well, I'm sure what's a good example here? It'd be it's like the Hadouken for Mega Man X. Okay, that that's uh, that's kind of a weird comparison. But what I'm trying to say it's it's something that you probably wouldn't wouldn't ever see in like a in like a guide or something. But one thing that's kind of commonly known throughout the community who plays the game, uh, and it kind of strikes me is that like I kind of feel like I discovered something, even though I'm probably not the first one to figure this out. Okay, that was kind of a bad play right there. You know, let's re let's remove your weapon just so you don't immediately fire a. a a lava bomb right right in this guy's face and then just destroy your own like honestly if he shot it right there he would have actually uh, hurt himself because uh, he's so close to this thing uh let's see that should be a lot safer yeah there we go uh not getting as much many shots in if i were to just be like right on top of him but it, it should be good like this enemy this, this is gonna make this go a little bit faster than normal oh man i, I fear what would happen if i tried to do this with like a with like a melee fighter <laughs> Yo, I'm starting to wonder, like, uh, what would this boss be like if I didn't have, or what, what would all cactus bosses for that case be like if I didn't have the strategy? Probably what I'm doing with the magician right now, but it'd just be a lot, um, it'd just be a lot more conservative. Like, I, I like the, I like the mushroom class, I like the mushroom enemy a lot. They're very creative. I like the idea behind them, um, and they're certainly very interesting. And I would probably be using the ice orb here if, um, if this boss didn't resist it, because I think he resists freeze, which means he like takes one damage from. You know, let's experiment with that real quick. We might as well. I mean, we're gonna be here for at least a little bit while longer. Hell, let's see how much damage does that do. Uh, that does, uh, yeah, that only does one damage each. Like, honestly, that weapon is so neat looking. I like the look of it, I'll say that much. Although, I just kind of prefer the Ice Meteor, so I, I, you know what, I, I, I'm gonna say is, I'm probably gonna sell that. I'm glad I tried it out. I, I like the Ice Meteor more, though, so we're, we're gonna stick with it for the time being. Tell me, yeah, tell, tell me, tell me it's, I mean, you could, you could tell me it's just personal preference, like, I have a bias towards the weapon, you'd probably be right. I mean, I do really, really like that weapon, but this is kind of cool, too. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's just continue this here. I noticed that if I, uh, drag an enemy immediately, or drag, uh, the mission immediately before, he just shoots, like, all these ice shards straight up. Um, and straight up is not where the priest is, so I'll take, uh, so I'll, so I'll go ahead and take it. Let's see, this should, this shouldn't really take too much longer, I'd imagine. Uh, after this, I'll, I'll be able to show off the book, and then I'll, and then, and then, unfortunately, we just have to wait at that point for, like, the next update to be added, uh, whenever that would be. You never know, you never know this kind of thing. Uh, let's see, so we'll take him out. Okay, that should be, um, that should be almost dead. I mean, you should be almost dead here. A, a pass with, a single pass with a magician does roughly, like, I want to say, like, like, two, three, four, five, like, five thousand damage, uh, which is very nice. Like, I never imagined a, a boss in this game to actually be able to take that kind of that, that kind of damage and live. Of course, again, this is certainly one of those games in which uh, the, the lifts can kind of creep up on you, uh, or the damage that can actually kind of creep up on you without you even noticing. I'm, I want to say it's probably one of the better examples of um, of, uh, of how you can tell a game doing, like, power creep well. A power creep is usually known as a bad thing, which is just, like, a, a game going oh, way overblown with, like, the numbers of enemies and things like that. This game has actually done a really good job, not really to, not, yeah, to make sure that it doesn't really um, become too big of an issue. Like, it, it kind of does feel like this was added right after. Aside from the fact that, like, obviously mushrooms didn't exist when the first level was around, it kind of feels like these were added. Like, one coherent game that, that probably could have uh, been uh, been uh, really well um, if it was just, like, released just like this. But, no, it's a, it's a weekly thing. They update this game very, very thoroughly. 
uh, for like a bunch of years now, and it's still it's still going really strong, and I can't wait for it to be over. Uh, I mean, I, okay, I mean that in a way, like honestly, like it'd really be really neat to finally have a conclusion to all this. Like, what is this castle up here? That's so interesting to me. So let's go back to the island real quick and actually go to the book. Oh, and looking at the levels as well, I'm starting to wonder if this is one of those one of those rare games that actually ends you at level 99. Like we're at late, we're at 87 right now. Like not many RPGs actually do that. So uh, there are actually no items that these enemies drop, uh, but this guy right here does drop a criticals card. Um, oh man, you know what I should have done? I should have done this just to have a better chance of, of it dropping. Ah, uh, regardless though. Okay, so, uh, let's, uh, let's do the honors here. Let's sell that, because honestly, the ice meter is just better in my opinion. And then with that, I think I'll see you guys next time. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing I'd like to point out before I go. Um, I actually have a Twitter page, and one thing I like to do on it is, um, occasionally, occasionally try to do, like, a daily sketch. And the majority of them I do, um, I do upload there, uh, to, to show off. One thing I tried to do one week is I decided to try and uh, and draw every single class from Stick Ranger in kind of an interesting, like, kind of 3D representation of what they would look like. Um, and here they are right here. I thought you guys might like to see this. So there we go. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.